What is going on, Fragrance family? It's taken me a while to get here to uh, Slumber House. I say it quick now, it's in the title. So I did to put on little sixes and sevens for this review. This, um, I, this is, I, I gotta, I wish I could talk to Josh or other perfumers. I mean, it is aging. It, it is better. The day I bought it, it was a blind buy. It sold out in a day. <sighs> it's quite expensive. Uh, he still posts just inside info, more inside info for my channel. Uh, follow him on Instagram. That's where he posts that he runs across bottles in his garage or extra stuff elsewhere. He's like, first come first. It goes within the hour. I mean, you have to be on it. Uh, I almost had a shot at uh, Heke, Jeke, J-E-K-E, the, the old vintage one. He's going to re-release it this year, but I, I don't want remakes. I want the real deal. I don't like this reformulation stuff. Anyways, the day I got it, I was like, wow, that's pretty expensive for that stuff. It's a Cuban bomb. The Cubans settled down a lot. Uh, the oud is there's real oud. This is his oud take. It's it's good. It's not for everybody. It's beast. This is this is the beast. The beast of fragrances I have. This is I'm here. This is power suit fragrance. This is the mind trip. Uh, you're letting everybody know you're in the room kind of fragrance. <clears throat> um, there was still some of this on my skin. New Sabet. Look at that juice. Look at that juice. All his juices. I think that's why I'm in love with them. It's from Portland, too. His juice just speaks for itself. The colors that he does. I love my Instagram photos playing with those colors. Guys, I'm Brandon Therapeutic Fragrance. Slumber House, welcome to the channel. Stay tuned for the review. All right, true Portland fashion, Slumber House. He represents Portland better than any perfumer I know. I, he's He'll make them when he wants to make them. He'll get them when you want to get them. I accidentally uh, found the site up if you check it all the time. So I didn't know any better. I That's how I got my Slumber House collection. They're sold out forever. He's now back up and in business, did a big Instagram post. He plans on doing it. He'll... Winter fragrances, summer fragrances, he'll keep everything in stock. So he says on Instagram, who knows what he's going to, I mean, he's on his own terms. He's on his own terms. Anyways, I found the website open one day. I, I didn't know, that day of, I didn't know it was a thing. So I bought uh, quite a few, I think I bought three bottles that day. I wanted more, but that was like money limit. Like, okay, 500 is a limit. Bottom, it, like, Two, three weeks later, I'm like, what the heck? Where's my fragrances? He lives in Portland. Can I come pick him up? Uh, I, I emailed him. Next thing you in the mail. I, I mean, I don't think, I think he opened it for somebody. Just some cash. Didn't expect me to pop in there and get an order. Anyways, I don't care. I got the frags. He took care of me. He threw it. Some, oh, and I requested a sample. He threw it in. That had been sold out forever. It's on the site now. Uh, Grave, the blue one. The blue juice. Just, whew, it's pretty. I'm going to get lost at Slumber House. That's why probably why I saved them. We're doing fancy stuff. I've already done footage for Nord like a month ago. And we'll see if it ever sees foot. The, the high creative videos, they take a lot of time. But I've started on Nord's. I didn't plan on some bet. It's the fall. I put it on. I, I've worn the... You can, these are extra. You can't wear much, but I've worn it over five times. 30 ml, 160 bucks. Extraits, yeah, five bucks an ml. Launched in 2016. Uh, Josh Loeb is the nose, the house, the brand. Touches everything, one man show. Notes on this are carnite, nation, mint, ash, leather, iris, cystus, fur, accord, moss. Uh, so, yeah, gopher, accord. I read gopher, uh, goat hair, tincture, also. Man, guy's creative. 
All right. If you guys know Slumber House, you already know this. You guys checking it out for the first time that aren't familiar with them on my channel. It, it's pretty amazing. I love these guys because they're unapologetically loud off your skin. These are the loudest fragrances I have in my collection. They're literally the six and sevens is even above and beyond. I mean, when I say loud, it is wow. I have your, I mean, I wear Atars, I wear Ouds. These are just shout out loud. Get ready for like an 18 hour wear. Uh, just rock and roll punk band fragrances. Um, at the time, very lucky to own these. He is now, website's up and running. You can buy stuff off of it. He plans to keep stuff in stock. Spring, summer scents, and then work on fall. Winter scents, darker fragrances, and a special release here and there. No special releases that I know of. Uh, there's something called Viking that's was supposed to be out. Something with pumpkin in it that's supposed to be out. He kind of apologized for that. and uh, It's on his Instagram. Told the big story of uh, just, you know, stuff happened. Life happened. I love that and honesty, transparency. I'm not holding him to nothing. He doesn't owe me nothing. Uh, <laughs> I think people just crave his stuff so much that they want to. About Slumber House, forget the notes. These fragrances are to go finish a journey for the day. Uh, one of my heartbreaks in the fragrance community, early, early on, of course, I start looking up all the Slumber House reviews. And then a couple, you know, knocked them. No big deal. And then my favorite guy just totally dissed every one of them. And I'm like, huh. And that's kind of where I came to terms with, like, we all have our own opinions. We, we do. And uh, to me, Slumber House Fragrances, and I actually ended up agreeing with his opinion. His opinion was that they, they smell like unfinished fragrances. And, okay, I'll deal with that. I put them on and I finished the fragrance and everywhere. It, they're adventure fragrances. They're, I mean, I go, it's when you're having fun, uh, kind of fragrances. Uh, adventures, not just vacation, but, you know, whatever you're doing. I adventure in the city all the time, do things, do things. That they, These are the ones I want with me. And they just jog the memory. They, they jump start the day they jump start the adventure and all of a sudden it's a memory lock with that fragrance that, that's what they are for me they're, they're powerful they're awesome he's outside the box like anybody i've ever seen yes he has a house of cord that uh i loud and proud uh it is synthetic you can smell it and it just shouts freshies in there <sighs> dirties in there but it 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 is what it is. And I don't know what it is. I love it. I love it on my skin. And it, it just works for me. So, yeah, about the adventure stuff. I mean, I, I've i toured the heck out of the U.S. You know, Boston, check. Chicago, check. Seattle, check. New York, check. Washington, D.C., check. Heartland, check. All over whatever. Vancouver, B.C., check. These are the fragrances I want for those days. When I'm out in the city... That's, I get lost. I don't want a map. I don't want an agenda. I don't want the tourist guide. I literally want my two feet, some sneakers. I just want to go get lost in the city with my camera. That's it. I'm a happy camper. I'll, I'll go explore the city and find the hot spots myself and find new, new things in the city. It, I have a nose for it. I've done it ever since I got a driver's license with Salt Lake City. Uh, that's where I was. I had nowhere else, but now I've got bigger and better cities. That, that's what I love doing. This is the fragrance that I have for those times. Dead serious. That's my reason for Slumber House fragrances is to do that. Now I get lost in Portland with them. <clears throat> Seattle, my days to Seattle, BC, Vancouver. I'm up there a lot. And I, I haven't been to Europe. I haven't anywhere else. Traveling the heck out of the U.S. Vancouver, B.C. is my ultimate favorite city. Super, super hot days walking. No, I would not spray this on. Wouldn't even dare. It would it totally blow up if I'm doing it. I probably choose it for these days too because if I'm in the gym of the day, I don't want this on either. It's totally after gym, and then 
if I didn't do my workout early, if I did a late afternoon workout, I mean, seriously, you're going to bed with this thing. It, it's powerful. So that has to be taken into account. I mean, you have to really think about these fragrances, but I have days for them. I love smell through the bottle all the time. Love the fragrance, love older fragrance, my opinion compared to those notes. This is springtime in Hobbit land for me. Those little village houses, Lord of the Rings. There's a picture that I got for it. Fresh and dirty. It's not a burnt cigarette ash. It's more of a lava ash, more of a smoldering ash. Uh, without all the dead bodies after they conquered a village and burned houses down and campfire, that kind of, no campfire smoke, but that smoldering ash effect without heavy smoke, kind of after the smoke's out, fire's out, the ash that would be left. So in between a volcano, volcanic ash, and, and, and that is, is ash is present, strong. Uh, ash is through the whole wearing. Surprised they didn't put uh, citrus on top here. Could play nice. I'm not the perfumer. Who knows? The mint is awesome. I wouldn't get rid of that for nothing. It, it's, it cools that ash down. It adds a little bit of ice cold effect to it, cold morning vibe to it. Uh, just great start to the fragrance. He put some iris in here. It's got powders in it. Uh, here's Josh. Here's Portland Way I keep talking about. Um, this is literally like the punk rockers coming on the scene in the little, uh, early 80s and just tearing New York City up. I mean, it's by their rules. They still had the pretty girls. They still had all that. Here's Iris, that girl in the middle of the, the pit, in the middle of the music, sweating away with everybody else, just enjoying herself, everybody enjoying themselves, and you have a party. That's, he throws that in the pretty iris ingredient that you know of, he puts it in there, front and center, surrounded by some mean, dark scents. Same with Mint, then, then he has like the, the, the little soft figure of Mint that he puts in there. Who does that? Just, it's a crazy uh, trip on this one. You're not getting away from the darkness, so if that turns you off, don't even go here. Uh, if you're into dark fragrances, this is dark and pretty. It does both. I I put this 50-50 uh, on unisex, down the line. Creative fragrance, mood fragrance, adventure fragrance, all day long. Yeah, the punk rockers, they put the mascara on. They got pretty. Same thing. He's put Iris in. A pretty bottle of cologne. I keep looking over at it, man. He just... <laughs> Don't let this color fool you. This thing is mean and dark and good and good. You guys, I know some guys out there that uh, I hear talking about fragrances, strong fragrance. I mean, this is one you got to put your nose on. If you like the dark stuff Andy does, this does have a fresh vibe to it, too. His house accord does, so you got to like that. If you've tried... Other slumber houses don't like them. You won't like this either. It's got the cord in there. You know, if you've never tried a slumber house, you have to try a slumber house. I don't know of a starting point in there. They're all, every one I have is up front and, and mean. This was my first uh, introduction to goat hair. I, I love the note now. I still, I have a couple others with goat hair in it from um, Thailand. And it, it it's like, like an oak. it doesn't do as much as oak moss. It's more of a linear note, but it just adds a beautiful animalic uh, note to perfume. Uh, I don't know who thought of it first, but it's a genius note in a bass layer. That, uh, I talk about perfumers, so many notes available to them. This is why we experience stuff like this. You got perfumers doing this. It's just amazing stuff, and it plays into it. It's a note you're not going to get away from. Again... Must love strange things, and I do. The goat hair just adds a perfect fume to the ash uh, uh, with it, and just so you can't lock in on each note, and they just play well together. And then the the dark accord with the the bright top and um, the powdery middle. 
he hits on every note perfectly. This well blended, well good composition on top of the synthetic slumber house chord that you must love. The chord's addicting to my nose. It strikes me at the the Siage strikes me at the weirdest times when you wear it. The difference once it's mint, next time it's ash, next time it's just that slumber house perfume. Uh, that's actually pretty pleasing. I don't mind people smelling that off me at all. This is a very aggressively go get it attitude perfume. 16 hours on skin. All right, score, new Sabet, Slumber House. Got to happen. Addictiveness, originality, 15 out of 15. There's no way of docking this thing. Unless you guys can name a perfume with those exact same notes. Project Siage, 5 out of 5. Longevity, 5 out of 5. Composition as a whole, 20 out of 25. Ingredients are priced at ML, 22 out of 25. Strong ingredients. Top heart base, top 10, 10. Aces. Heart, 4 out of 5. Base, 7 out of 10. Total score of 88. Bottle by, bottle by. <laughs> All right, where, when, who, how. You guys curious for my who's or do you hate them? I don't know. I love them. That's why I keep doing them. Never seen. I've seen one comment about him. That was about Angela Lansbury. Anyways, this is not an Angela Lansbury scent. Let's get into this. Where? Traveling. I already, I already put that. That's why it's in my collection. All year long. I travel all year long. Don't want to get set a little here. <laughs> Who do I see wearing this one? Anthony Bardet, uh, Bourdain. Uh, I, very strong, influential in my life. The work he done on TV. Uh, he's... Probably my most watched as far as complete TV show there is. Uh, yeah. Anthony Bourdain, rest in peace. Three to five sprays for me, guys. Peace out, guys. Thanks for being on the channel. Be blessed.